It was a very controversial press conference out of two reasons, and I think maybe it's interesting to talk about them. First of all, John Henry Weston um, said very clearly that if Cardinal Marx is going to follow the way he's following right now, then he's going to end up in hell. That was, of course, very, very straight in the face, which is not something we in Europe normally do. So it shocked the people. It shocked the people, which I can really understand. But I have to admit, he got tons of applause there. And, and I think more than half of the people within the press conference room were Germans. So you see, it's very interesting. They, they, they understood what he wants to say because John Henry Weston uh, does not say it because he says, I wish Karl Marx go to hell. He says, Karl Marx, don't you see, this is the wrong way for you and for your soul. So actually, even though the way he said it is not very common here in Europe, especially not in German, Germany, it was actually quite good to hear that so many people from all around the world uh, actually care about Karl Marx's state of soul. We know it's not only about his state of soul, but of course, especially about the state of soul of the people following his, uh, his uh, wrong yeah, teachings. Yeah. I think that was the main point. And the second controversial point was um, Professor de Mattei, who asked the people to stop paying church tax. Yes, I read that. I was like, wow. You, and, and, and explain that for people. I think most uh, you know, people around the world don't understand the German church tax system. So once they understand that, I think they'll understand Roberto de Mattei's comments and how controversial they are. I, I think so, yes. So um, I, I give you the comparison between Austria and Germany because both countries have the church tax since Hitler, so it is, we have kind of the same history on it. The church tax in Germany is something you have to pay uh, via your normal taxes. So not the, the church itself does not get the money directly. The money first goes to the state and then the state gives it to the church, which is completely independent from other payings the state gives to the church. For example, the bishops are paid by the state in Germany, which is a very controversial, and I, in my opinion, not a very good thing. Uh, especially because Germany is not a very Catholic country. Um, so the difference between Austria and Germany, in Austria you pay directly to the church, it's called um, the, the Kirchenbeitrag, so it is something you give to the church, and if you cannot give it, you talk to the Kirchenbeitragsstelle, so it is the organization in the church which takes care uh, about, also takes care, and, and, and is, is in charge of that. So normally you can talk to them if you, for example, have any special reason why you can't pay. Next to that, in Austria, you can uh, give 50% of your church tax uh, to a Catholic organization of your choice, which makes it uh, way better because actually we know as a Catholic, it is, you should pay also the church and give them give the money they need, that's true. But if it's on, but it should be something you give um, um, openly and as a free, uh, in a free decision, of course. In Germany, it's a little bit difficult uh, and different because in Germany you pay to the state 100% and you cannot choose whether you do it or not. If you say you do not want to pay this tax, the only possibility uh, how this tax is not longer taken away from you and not longer asked by the state of you is if you uh, officially declare that you want to leave the Catholic Church. There's two theological issues here. One is... Uh, and I think it was Roberto de Mattei that said this, I might have it wrong, but there are two different religions inside the Catholic Church, specifically in Germany, uh, that may not have been, de I, think I, I think I saw that recently, uh, or maybe someone on the panel. And then the other is, how is this not a form of simony? Simony is the, is the error that you must pay money for sacraments. It goes back to the book of Acts with Simon Magus. He offers Peter money to get the power of the episcopate so he, confer, he can confer the sacrament of confirmation. This sure looks like pay to play. You want you want to have sacraments, you want fun Catholic funerals, you want Catholic stuff, pay the government, write a check to the it, German it's... government, and if you yeah, don't, probably... you don't get to play. You're out. This seems like a mortal sin to me. I... I think I think the problem is uh, I'm completely on your side here because I tell you now, now a fun situation. You, for example, Taylor Marshall, you do not have to pay the church tax. Mm. You can go to Germany and receive the sacraments there for free. Yeah, uh, I might even free. get a funeral. We know what we have. Well, to they give know who it. I am. I won't get one. So that's very interesting. So what? So so the problem is that, um, and now we are going to talk. I think about the more interesting part of that 
is that this makes Germany an own church within the church. Mm -hmm. Because for Germans, if for people who are resident in Germany, they now have different rules than the rest of the universal church. This is a typical situation where we should ask the Vatican to change something because this is not Catholic. But as we know, the Vatican needs is in deep need of German money. So, so this is not going to work as easy as we think it is. I guess it will take some time for people to consider this. It's not something, you know, when Roberto De Matei says it, it's not something that no one's ever thought of and no one discussed. I mean, this has been discussed for, a, for a quite some time now of, of the obligation to pay the church tax. Um, you yourself kind of say, I'm not really sure which side to come down on. Do you think that we could have a situation where a sizable chunk of practicing Catholics stop paying the tax? Is that, is that at all foreseeable? I look, as I told you, the only possibility to stop paying tax is to write on the paper, I do not want to be member of the Catholic Church. Mm. So that's the reason I do not think it's going to happen. Yeah, that's, that's a, that's, a, I mean, and this is a legal document. So it's a legal document. I mean, it, it reminds me of, of the, the certificates that they, that they were writing out in the Roman persecutions. And even if you had a fake certificate, you were excommunicated from the church. Here we yes. have an easy way. You don't, and they're obliged to give you, if you gave zero dollars over the life of as a Catholic to the diocese, they still have to give you a Catholic funeral, last rites. Of course. And but but I, I have to say something. I, I know how you said how you asked for this because I remembered when you did it. But what you did is you said instead give the money to and then a good Catholic organization. Correct. So what you have to understand, it is good and right to give money to the church. You oh yes, you mu I, let me let me state publicly. Yes. It is one of the precepts of the church that we support the pastors of the Catholic Church. If That's you're it. not doing that, you're wrong. You're That's not it. living God's will for your life. You must be financially supporting the ministry and apostle of the church, and as it says, the pastors of the church. So this is not an don't no one hear me today say I don't have to give anything to support the gospel of Christ in the Catholic Church. That's absolutely false. You must. Yes, support the church financially. So what I say is find a really solid seminary. The priests, yes. the, the pastors that you know that are solid, support them. Guess that's what? It. Cardinal Burke is a pastor of the church. Let's support uh, our solid American cardinal. Let's donate to things that he's working on. For that's, example. Yeah. So that's that's what I'm saying, folks. I'm not saying close up your wallet entirely. I'm saying re-filter the funds to places that are orthodox, sound, and traditional.